Hey everybody. We are about ready to announce our big surprise. And it has something to do with our trailer. And so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get the trailer ready for our big surprise and then we're gonna show you what it is at the end. So I'm really excited because it's gonna be a fun video. Um, so I think y'all know we're on this big long road trip but other people don't know and we want to tell people so we got an idea first things first we got to wash the trailer it's not been washed and we need to do that anyway um, we've been on the road a long time but we couldn't get the hose to work and we figured out oh, what was the problem Kirk opened it up and it had this in it It's hard to tell what that is. <clears throat> but I have this one or another. Whoa! <laughs> Scared me. It was a June bug. Which is nasty. Those June bugs are very intimidating if you've never seen one before. I've seen them, but my kids haven't seen them and it's hilarious to see their reaction to these bigger bugs. They don't have the very best hoses too. Careful, don't get it in the hole. It's all hand To check on this, I just don't want it to be.
And so there you have it, our big surprise. We are taking our trailer on the road and showing everybody what we're doing. We hope that you've enjoyed this as much as we have making it. And please don't criticize our awful sticky job with all the crinkles and everything. We're obviously not professional sign holders. But there you go, that's our awesome surprise. The thing we've done is we've collected stickers from everywhere we've gone. And I'm gonna run around here to the other side. And I'm gonna show you our sticker progression, which is awesome. So much fun to collect stickers from all over. So as I was making the video for our surprise and was just reflecting on our why and Kirk and I have been talking about doing a why video for a long time and he's been so busy with work that I haven't been able to nail him down for anything so I thought I'd come on here and share why. Why are we, first of all, on this road trip and why the sign and everything. So here's our why. Back when COVID hit, um, our lives were very different. We had two and a half acres and our goal was always to develop those acres into a sustainable place for us to live because we always knew that. Um, that's where my heart was um, it was a, a better way of living and a healthier way of living but our lives were very busy and there was no way we could um, really grab hold of that the way we had wanted to, to do it so we were forced into I, I don't want to say early retirement. That just sounds ridiculous. <clears throat> but we are forced to stop what had kept us from doing other things. <clears throat> just like a lot of people, I think. It was completely out of our control. And um, so we were forced to stop. And kind of, we were left scratching our heads for a while. What do we do? Thankfully, we had done enough that we did not feel like the shortages that a lot of people felt like toilet paper and food and water and all that um, because we'd already kind of come to a place in our stock and supply at our house that it, that was that was just fine but I think when COVID hit we really really felt like okay now more than ever we need to be in a place where we can be self-sustaining um, and then the progression of not being able to open up for such a long time and that that stark realization that our business is gone um, and and we chose to end it the way we did it was on a good note and um, without debt and it you know we, we ended things um, and I'm thankful that we that everything ended up happening the way it did. You know, you look back and think, wow, God's hand was really on all of it from the beginning, even though I had no idea what he was doing at first. So here we are on this epic road trip. Now, are we ever going to be, um, you know, YouTube stars? I have no idea. But the journey that we've decided to take... Uh, I want to share with people because not only do I feel like the world is changing and um, 
the power of your destiny <laughs> sounds like a video game the power of your future is in your hands and I feel like you can um, take this opportunity and so we're taking this opportunity and we are going on this epic road trip something that obviously we would have never been able to do before so our sign on the side of our trailer really lets people know that what we're doing is something that anybody could do you could do it we want to be as encouraging as possible we want to be a family that other people could look to and go hey, if they can do it we can do it and a lot of jobs are permanent remote or at least they have the, the ability to be where they weren't before they were in a in an office in a cubicle behind a computer screen so I want to share with you just a little bit of our life it's very messy in here but this is my workstation I sit right here on the bed and that's Kirk's workstation every week his workstation changes as long as we have internet Kirk can work from anywhere because we have a hotspot so it has worked out beautifully there's just been a couple of times where his workstation wasn't very comfortable, but he was always able to make it work. We're basically working on the road. In the afternoons and evenings, we get to go do things. Um, like last night, we got to go to a water park. Uh, we get to do things with our family together we would have never been able to do before. This kind of stepping out in faith, I mean, because it's a big leap of faith for us, we're basically homeless. We don't have a home to go back to. We're not going back to Oregon. Uh, we don't know where we're going to go. We're searching. We're on the hunt. But this leap of faith um, has increased my, not only dependency on God, but my faith in my family. And yes, of course, we get on each other's nerves. And yes, we um, get tired of each other's company. But the memories that we're building together beyond compare and when we get to that final place and we get our homestead and we get to be in a place that we can dig up the soil with our hands and grow something and then we will get we'll get to share that journey with you so the point of the sticker is to share this journey with as many people as possible because I think that it's important for people to know that they can do it too. There's a great big world out there and it's amazing. And if you haven't seen it, you need to get out and see it. Gotta let go. Go get out and do stuff. It's kind of been our motto this whole time. People all the time say, uh, be safe, be safe. And Kirk was like, we're being bold. And we are. So anyway, Thank you for joining in. Thanks for listening to my rant, my soapbox. But I hope it encourages you. I hope that you know you can go out and do wonderful, amazing things. Because if we can do it, you can do it too. All right. Blessings to you. And we'll see you next time.